Massive remediation project along the Ohio River is underway right now. The developer behind it is now asking the Ohio EPA for permission to move some hazardous coal ash waste from one location to another. The Nine on Your Side I team has discovered everyone involved is taking risks, taking steps, I should say, to reduce risk and make sure that entire property reaps future economic rewards for the community. Investigative reporter Hillary Lake is here with the latest on what is happening out at the former Walter C. Beckjord coal fire plant. Hillary. Well, Craig and Tanya, it is a very real risk with this project. One wrong move could compromise drinking water supplies in Claremont County and beyond. But so far, the documents the I team has reviewed and the local government officials we've talked to, everything is OK. Now, that being said, there's still a long way to go in turning the land where Beck George sits into prosperous property once again. A spokesman for the developer tells me the main structure is in the process of coming down later this year or in early 2020. Right now, crews are also taking everything they can out of it to recycle, and they are doing just that. The Ohio EPA approved that demolition plan last year. Next up, though, the coal ash ponds containing that hazardous byproduct of burning coal for energy. Well, from the perspective of um, you know the coal ash ponds, I mean, if those things were to leak into the Ohio River, that could have a negative impact downstream, um, and so that's that's a, a, a significant concern. The developer Commercial Liability Partners has submitted a proposed plan to the OEPA detailing how they want to safely remove some of the waste, cap the pond where it will go, and then turn that land into something that's usable again. There's also a new contractor in place to help with next steps in terms of economic development once the land is cleared and deemed safe. Coming up tonight on 9 on your side at 11, I'll break down that proposed coal ash plan for you and hear what local government officials and community members have to say about it and the future of Beck George. Guys.